Hello everyone, welcome to another video of slangs. This is going to be the 11th PPT, which means in the last 10 PPTs of slangs, we have already learned 20 slangs, and these are really useful uh, to speak like a native speaker or to speak good English uh, in your daily life. So try to follow all the videos, and if you find some problem, you can always consult with me, and I'll be happy to reply to your questions okay so let's start this video and uh, the first line we're going to learn in this video is add rather plus verb this d uh, either we can use here had or would but in short we say i'd rather plus verb or we can also say i had rather plus verb or I would rather plus verb, okay? This D is actually the, the, the short form of would, okay? So we can say, I'd rather plus verb. So once we are, uh, when whenever we are saying, uh, I'd rather plus verb, what we are doing or what we are saying or what we mean is that uh, we prefer one thing over another, okay? So let's read the description. Are is a contraction of the words I had or I would as I've already explained when using it with the word rather you are suggesting you would like to do or prefer one thing more than another so you are actually comparing and you are saying I prefer this over that thing for example a very common example these days people they want to go abroad for higher education rather than staying in their own countries so you may say, I'd rather go abroad for my higher education. So here you are telling to someone that you prefer to go abroad than staying in your own country and having a higher education in your country. Okay. So let's look at some examples. And afterwards, I think you'll understand how to use this language. Okay? So here are some examples. I'd rather talk about this later. I'd rather sky than snowboard. I'd rather eat at home than go get fast food. Well, this is a very common problem these days. People, they, they rather go to the fast food restaurants than eating at their houses, okay? I'd rather stay late than come in early tomorrow, okay? Uh, I'd rather handle the problem myself. I'd, ha I, I'd rather or I had rather go home than stay out too late. I had rather listen to my parents or get in trouble. I would rather exercise than sit on the couch all day. Next, I would rather complete my task early. I would rather know the answer. Okay, so this is all you can so use. I would rather plus verb. You are comparing two things and you are saying that I prefer this than that, okay? So this is all you can use rather. Like I can say, I'd rather record videos than uh, just uh, you know just just uh, uh, you're just recording my voice, or I'd rather uh, make a video than you know uh, talking on the phone. Whatever you, you are saying that you prefer this thing over that. Okay. Next, I feel like plus verb ing. I feel like plus verb ing. Here you're expressing to someone something you would enjoy doing, something that you would like to do, something that you would uh, be happy to do. Okay, I feel like plus verb ing. For example, uh, personally me, I love to eat. So I can say, I feel like eating biryani, especially the Pakistani food if I talk about, okay? I feel like uh, going for hiking, okay? Uh, I feel like playing cricket, I feel like swimming, I feel like drinking water, whatever. So let's look at some examples so you can understand this slang in a better way. I feel like going for a bike ride. I feel like going to the beach. I feel like eating snacks. I feel like talking. I feel like dancing. I feel like having friends over to my house. Okay, I feel like watching TV or television. I feel like dining out. I feel like learning Chinese. Well, 
Uh, I don't think so because I've tried learning Chinese. Someone would enjoy learning Chinese, but anyway, if someone does, then he can use this slang. I feel like to express that he would enjoy or he would be happy to learn Chinese. Okay, I feel like watching movie at the cinema. Well, when I was in China, uh, this thing I love to do. Like uh, whenever there was a new movie, I always used to go to the cinema to watch it over there. Okay. Now look at the next slide and it says by adding don't or do not you can change what you are saying to express something you would not enjoy or express a concern about something. So simply if you are using do not or don't you are actually uh, you know uh, changing the meaning of the sentence into an opposite one okay. So before once you were saying I feel like so here you were expressing that uh, you would enjoy, you would be happy to do something. But here, if you add a don't here in the sentence, that it means something that you would not enjoy doing or you're expressing a concern about something, okay? Let's look at some examples here. I don't feel like leaving yet. I don't feel like explaining. I don't feel like going to bed. I don't feel like we are going in the right direction. Okay, you here in this case or in this example, you are expressing a concern or some in other examples like here, you were simply saying that you don't, uh, you know, uh, think that it is the right time to go to bed or you won't enjoy going to bed at this time, whatever. Okay, let's look at the next example. I don't feel comfortable talking about it. Maybe there is a matter that you are not comfortable talking about it, then you can say, I don't feel like, or I don't feel comfortable talking about it, okay? I don't feel like studying right now. Like most of the students, they, they say this, that they don't feel like studying right now because they don't enjoy studying at that moment, okay? Next. I don't feel like seeing him now. I don't know. Maybe the person is having some real issues with this guy, okay? I don't feel like eating at the restaurant. Maybe this person, he or she wants to eat at the home, at home instead of the restaurant. So that's why he or she said, I don't feel like eating at the restaurant. Okay, so these were easy slangs. I hope you understand them well. If you have any problem, any question, uh, make sure you write them in the comment section and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. Keep learning well and keep studying. Whatever problems you have, you are welcome to discuss with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and your families. Bye-bye.